up what's up good morning welcome and welcome back to a new vlog guys if you are new here hey girl hey make sure you're subscribed to be part of the family as you can see by the title today is another day in a life well i don't know if i'm doing a day in a life or just a regular vlog but anyways anyways guys i'm on the way to an office today i am going for a working interview so this is the same office i told you guys i had an actual interview at last week and my last weekly vlog so check that out to get caught up so yeah they called me back to come in and do a working interview this time and then you know after that we'll kind of go from there and see what decision they're making on either hiring me you know or not but we're going to speak it into existence that they will but also this will be an opportunity for me to see how the office runs how their system works and if i like it myself so so i'm going in today i'll be working from 10 to 4 but they wanted me to be there at 9 15 so I can see how things run in there and get a feel for it before I see my first patient, which I think was a great idea. And yeah, it is freezing out today, which is why I'm wearing this big old coat, y'all. It's literally, I think it was snowing last night. Legit, legit. Georgia's weather is so bipolar. It was 70 degrees a few days ago. And today it's about 20. <laughs> like, girl. I ordered some loops, some lights for my loops my dental loops but i wanted to open them this morning and take them with me but i didn't have time i was running a little behind to one of my not so i'll be showing you guys i'll be doing an unboxing sometime in this vlog showing you my lights for my loops and answer any questions y'all had about my loops period This lemonade is nasty. Dang, I don't have a fork. Oh, I do have a fork. I'm on my lunch break. I got a bowl. I should have just gotten a pizza. They have so many healthy spots around here. Um, it's like a Chipotle bowl, but it's not Chipotle. It has brown rice, spicy chicken, um, avocado, like a pico de gallo, mix corn cheese and then they gave me this little sauce here so i'm gonna drizzle that on here well let me taste it first oh and they also added some sweet potato chips okay are y'all healthy healthy Ooh, i like this sauce mm -hmm. this is delicious I'm on my lunch break. I had an amazing morning. It was busy, but it went really, really well. Mm. Girl, this is good. 
it has some mango, some cut up mango on top. You guys, my morning has been so good, so productive. Um, busy, but easy. It was just me and the doctor. So just two schedules today. I think it's just gonna be me or another hygienist, but she doesn't come in on Tuesdays. I saw three patients. The x-ray system is super easy. The assistant kind of showed me around and showed me where to get everything. Baby! <laughs> it's my God for me. It's my God for me. Do you see him blessing me abundantly? Sad away. <laughs> Sad away. <laughs> Your girl is blessed, honey. She is blessed, blessed, blessed. She is covered up. Okay, I'm anointed, honey. I got hired, okay? I got heard. So basically, I got hired, I got the job offer, and I took it right away. Girl, I was dehydrated. I'm thirsty. Oh my God, y'all, I have so much to tell y'all, but let me start driving. I just clogged their whole bathroom well I, it wasn't my fault i didn't clog it but it was already clogged and then i went and used it didn't know i flushed the toilet and the water just started spilling everywhere like coming out the toilet water on the floor touching my feet i was like oh my god this is the worst day but they were so nice they were like no 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 you're good it's not your fault it happened before grab so many towels to come help me i was like oh my god y'all are really nice in here when God takes something from you, he's about to give you something 10 times better. Sometimes you just gotta settle in, sit tight, and wait for that blessing. I was stressing so hard about the job that I just personally left. I was at that office for only a week, you know, dealt with discrimination from a patient. The doctor allowed it, doctor didn't stand up for me. I knew better, I knew my worth, I decided to leave that office same day. I was devastated, didn't know what I was gonna be doing, and kind of was doubtful about if I was gonna find another job, and look at God. God said, honey, sit tight, I got you. So basically, I saw five patients today. I started at 10 a.m., and I got done at four. Before my last patient, the manager came to me with um, like the hygiene hiring manager, and they were like, look, we love you, and we wanna offer you this job offer. Today, the hygienist mentioned, she was like, I love how you speak to your patients, you're so professional, and you're just learning fast. You're catching on to what you're supposed to do. We wanna have you part of your our team. We want you in our team. I said, honey, I wanna be here too. I said, yes ma'am. I already knew how I felt about the office from the moment I started seeing my first patients, y'all. Let me tell you. The office is super duper laid back. The doctor is so easy to work with. I'm getting that genuine vibe from him. Communication is A1. Any questions that I have, I come to him. He has his office in the back, so when I'm ready for an exam, I just go to the back. Hey doctor, I'm ready for an exam. I have Miss Miss Jane here today. She um, complains of this tooth is bothering her. We took x-rays, we did this, we did that. And he's like, okay, cool. And he's looking at the x-rays together with me. And then we head and grab the patient together. So it's like, we have a flow. It's very easy. He's not all with all this extra stuff that I felt like I was getting from that previous doctor. Their x-ray system, when I first got there, the manager basically walked me around the office, showed me where to find everything. She showed me their computer system, the x-ray system, and she was like, okay, you got five patients today. Here are your trays and your instruments already set up for your patients. These are your slips. Um, this is how you go to the charts, see each patient. When a patient is here, it's gonna turn this color. When a patient is left, it's gonna turn that color. And she was just very transparent. You know, she's like, this is our, um, she showed me their supply room, sterilization room, back, back room, voila, that was it. From there on, things kind of started to flow, you know, and it got really, really easy. There's no such thing as the perfect dental office, right? There's no such thing. And I can tell when a place feels good versus when I have my raised eyebrows, like suspicious. And I definitely had my signs and concerns with the last office that I worked at. 
even though it was for just a week i'm not talking about my office in north carolina my office in north carolina was great that was the best office i've ever been in i'm talking about the office that i worked at for that one week i want to thank y'all so much who've been following me on this journey and have been uplifting me and trying to give me um you know supportive words supportive kind words because it got rough for a minute okay things are not going to come to you they're not going to be given to you like that to have the reward you have to put in the work you go after it if i can do it y'all can do it you gotta put in that work you have to want it you gotta have faith you gotta claim it like you gotta claim it i claimed that job today i had a patient i told him that i was doing a working interview he's like you you already got the job i said you think so he's like you gotta claim it man you gotta speak on it i'm like you right i got the job first things first i gotta get in that shower honey all right y'all we got some takeout so this is a this is called a double shrimp uh sushi so it has fried shrimp on the inside i think it has cucumbers cream cheese and then they added shrimp on top i don't know love seafood y'all know i love my shrimp so i was like okay let me try it i got some spicy mayo and eel sauce to try with that and then i got these what is this called again I forgot what it's called, but this is some type of appetizer and it came with this sauce. Let me get one of each item on the menu, okay? And I got a ramen. I don't think it's spicy, so I'm just gonna use my sriracha. But yeah, this is my dinner. I just got some takeout, so yeah. Who is this, boo-boo? Baby, who do you think you are? Did my hair this morning. Um, I put on some layers and put on some curls and I love how, I love everything this is giving. This is giving me grown and sexy vibes, baby. It's giving me adulthood. <laughs> this portion of the video is sponsored by Ella Combs Air Purifier. I want to give them a huge shout out for sending this product to me for review because I think that um, my audience, you guys, can very much benefit from a product like that. I wanted to, and I personally can benefit from a product like that, especially in the times that we are in right now. I'm gonna be giving you guys a thorough review and setup explanation. We're gonna do unboxing. Their model is the P300 Air Purifier. So it is pretty much set up already. Um, now in the back of it, I think I have to remove this plastic here. This is the filter that it comes with. For some of you guys that are wondering what is an air purifier and why do I recommend it for anybody out here? An air purifier is a device that removes contaminants from the air and improves the air quality. Essentially giving you a better air quality indoor. Basically, it traps bacteria, it traps viruses from the air, it traps allergens to give you a better air quality. This is a product I feel like I definitely need, especially with what I do for my job as a dental hygienist. Coming back home, you know, sometimes I'm coming in here with clothes that are contaminated. Yes, I'm washing them as much as I can and I'm trying to take all the precautions, but in a time like this, especially with COVID out right now, we are coming home from going outside, running errands, me from my job. So having a device like that, that can improve the air quality here in my house, lowering the risk of bacteria, that you guys, that's amazing. And that's something I think that everyone should have at their house right now, especially if you have any pets as well. If you have any respiratory issues like asthma, the P300 air purifier combines ultra fine pre-filter, antibacterial filter, HEPA filter, activated carbon filter, and it can capture 99.97% of allergens as small as 0.3 microns. When you have small dust, pet hair, mold spores, pollen allergy during spring, viruses, their filtration system is able to capture that and to purify the air, give you a better air system with that. And it can be accommodated in a room size up to 400 square feet. Um, it has the LED indicators to show the air quality in your house. So green, yellow, and red. The indicators that tell you how good the quality of air in your house is. Any of you guys that are pet owners, if you are a pet owner and you struggle a lot with pet hair odors, this is a device that you should definitely have in your house. One option that I think is amazing with this air purifier is that 
it has a child lock so if you have any kids in the house and this is on like let's say in your living room you're cooking you're cleaning the house you don't want them bothering this you have a child lock on here so they're not able to play around with the buttons your filter reset timer so i can have it here on auto so it'll automatically adjust the fan based on real-time air quality okay so if your air quality is really good the purifier will work in low speed if the air quality is good it'll work in mid speed mode and if it is poor it's gonna be high speed mode so i think the auto is a great setting i personally love how sleek this looks like having it in your house it doesn't look like a really old fan that you're trying to hide <laughs> you know it definitely gives you that sleek and modern look so they were kind enough not only to provide this air purifier for me to review for you guys but also they gave me a 40% off code yes sis 40% so you can get your hands on this air purifier so I'll have the link in the discount code for you in the description box down below so make sure that you're not missing out um that's a good deal if you ask me so check the link in the description box and thank you again, Ella Combs, for sponsoring this video. Girl, your girl got work to do. Entrepreneur life right here real quick, okay? So for some of you guys that are new to my channel, I am a business owner. I'm the owner of Taja's Lux Boutique, um, which is online. I sell hair, lashes, masks, sunglasses, accessories, jewelry, get with the program and we will pretty soon be adding robes and loungewear on the website which i'm so excited for that you guys and then my mini inventory is up here where i have my lip glosses mask tons of lashes sunglasses more mask more mask <laughs> more lip glosses more lip glosses um jewelry and i have some more in boxes but this is basically more than enough right now so i can get through my orders it's been like eight months since i started my business wow time flies eight whole months it's been a journey it's been a pretty smooth journey for me so far there is money to be made out here in these streets one way i found that have helped my business grow as well you guys is advertisement even brands that are worth billions of dollars are advertising their products like pepsi coca-cola frosted flakes you always see commercials on tv advertise your brand like do instagram advertisement you can do you know facebook advertisement where your ad will pop up on other people's timeline or feeds try to do youtube advertisement if you have a small business and you're following like a youtuber and they have a p.o box or they are doing paid promotions whatever reach out to them see how much they can see how much they're charging to promote a product or see if you can send them some of your products and they can give you a shout out on their vlog like every little advertisement counts because people are going to hear about your product more they're going to know about your product more and that's that's how your brand will grow um a lot of people are worried about starting a business because they're like well who's gonna buy from me i'm not i don't have a social media platform advertisement is big right now like instagram social media is a billion dollar business like that's where people are advertising most of their products like you don't have to have a platform ahead of time to have a successful business if you do have a platform already well that's even better for you but it's not like you have to okay so my customer here she bought five masks so she bought two summertime beige masks she bought two summertime fine and one here that you see the brown here is called um batty vibes so she also purchased two of the classy lashes those are my best seller lashes they're very natural 3d mink lashes yeah that completes her order and then i typically with any lash orders i like to get some lash brushes with any lash order so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in this bag here so you know when you order from me oftentimes you'll get a free hair scrunchie you could get a free lip gloss if it's a really large order a free headband so it just depends so she gets a free scrunchie i'm gonna put in my business card in here 
I did all of my business cards on Vistaprint, okay? Customized it, I designed it by myself. It was pretty easy with all my information here in the back. So I'm gonna input that here. And then I've been also giving these little stickers. They're actually hair bundles, but you know, I have a ton of them, so I'm giving them out as stickers so you can, you know, use that. This is how her bag is looking. It's full of goodies, as you can see. And then I like to throw in these crinkle cut papers in here to make opening the package such an experience, you know? If it was a small order, it would have been on a little bag like this, but since she has a lot of things, I put everything in this uh, silk bag here that has my logo up front. Obviously, this big bag is not gonna fit into this small little bubble bag. So then that's where my large bags come in handy. It looks like this. I have my thank you stickers. So I just put the thank you sticker right here. So then I'm gonna weigh my package because that's how I'm gonna figure out how much shipping is and that's how I'm going to buy my shipping through my Shopify. So if you got a business, get you a scaler. When you're packaging orders, this is a must. The scaler also is from Amazon. So I just put the package on top of this. See how much it weighs? 6.4, well 6.3 ounces. You gotta let it settle in, 6.3 ounces. I'm gonna put that in my Shopify info and we're gonna go ahead and print the label to drop it off at the post office. I'm gonna go to create shipping label. This is why I love Shopify. It literally does everything for you. You can send out emails, advertisement. It is so simple to me. So then I'm gonna go down and um, choose my total weight for the package, which is, what do we say, 6.3 ounces? Okay, 6.3 ounce. And so once I do that, it gives me all of my shipping options. So if I wanna do USPS, this is how much that I'm gonna pay, this is how long it's gonna take. If I wanna do priority mail, this is how much, this is how long. UPS, etc. Like, you know, the faster you want it to get there, if you want one business day, it's even more expensive. So, but you have your different options, okay? And I typically go with USPS first class. If it is a hair package, I like to do priority mail because it has insurance up to $100 if anything happens to hair packages. And sometimes I would do UPS, like if I wanted their stats, it's a customer that's been waiting. But most often, most likely, I do the USPS up here. So it's automatically already on there. I go to buy one shipping label. So my total is $351 for this. And I don't pay for it now. Um, <clears throat> every month, once I hit a certain amount of money, that's when it comes out of my account. So I go to print shipping label. And I hit print. Well, before I hit print, let me make sure my printer is connected automatically comes out for me it has a sticky side to it so you just peel it off and you stick that bad boy the back of your package right here like how easy is that your package is ready to go when i go to the post office i don't even have to stay in the line i walk in and drop it off or if they have those uh drop off boxes outside put it in and i'm out yeah, in summary, this is pretty much how I package my orders, okay? And, and nothing really different to it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do about 20 more of those. <laughs> I'm so grateful for y'all orders and for y'all support. Like, I could not be any more grateful. So I'm gonna go ahead and fulfill the rest of these orders, guys. And I will see y'all probably on my way to the post office. Orders are ready to go. I'm basically just gonna put them in this bag. Drop them off at the post office. Any of my packages that have sunglasses in there, I put fragile on it so the post office can know like this. I'm gonna put it in this bag. And we're ready to go. <laughs> I have my big old jacket on y'all because it's been freezing out i got this jacket from zara what is going on in these georgia atlanta streets it is cold 
it's cold and cloudy every single day i have not been i have not seen a consistent good weather week since i moved to Atlanta four months ago my car needs to be clean i think i'm getting my car clean this weekend um i have a girls trip coming up really really soon your girl's about to go on a trip i needed it i indeed like absolutely need it so y'all get ready for these videos coming up girl trip videos so this weekend i'm gonna get pampered and prepped for my girl's trip like i got hair appointments nail appointments wax appointment lash appointments like we gotta transform and get into the mindset because next week i'm working all week so with that being said most of what i need to get done needs to be done this weekend we are heading to the post office and then after that oh my god it's hot it's cold it's cold um yeah after that i'm just coming right back home i have to edit a video get it sent to the sponsor today hopefully i can post it for y'all tomorrow don't mind the heat blowing on my face right now because it's cold <laughs> i just left the post office i am heading to this grocery store um to get me i like to go there and get me um get their grilled chicken they're already cooked but like y'all it is so good like the best grilled chicken i've ever had they do this grilled chicken they have the big grills outside of the place and literally grill their chicken there every single day you go there and get a big platter it's a it's a mexican grocery store but they do that there and you, and they give you a salsa sauce with it so i'm gonna go home and make some rice beans some plantains and you know have some food for my house i have not cooked in like a week and you guys know me i love to cook let me get out the way <laughs> Sir, where are you going? It's an everyday thing around here, girl. Sirens and cars and... Tune in to Hot 107.9's YouTube page. We I'm home, you guys. About to make some dinner real quick. I already bought the chicken from the grocery store. But I'm about to go ahead and make these black beans. Okay. We have to have it boiling for a minute. It's gonna be boiling for like over an hour. I'm gonna blend it and do like my homemade black beans. And then, let me show you the chicken I bought, the grilled chicken. They give it to you with these salsa sauces. Girl, when I tell you this is the best grilled chicken, this place hit every single time. It's already cooked, so sometimes I stop by there if I don't feel like cooking dinner, and I use that for dinner. Sometimes I grab it for lunch. I could have that with a salad. But yeah, you have your dipping sauce too. This place is called Brito, B-R-I-T-O. And it is in Brookhaven, um, like 10 minutes from Atlanta. Makes dinner a lot easier for me. So I'm gonna make my beans, some white rice, and then some plantain. Traditional Caribbean dinner. This grilled chicken is hitting. Mm, this has a perfect amount of seasoning. It's not too much. While the food is cooking, I have a glass of wine. I'm getting ready to edit my video, which is this vlog right here. Plus, I'm trying to post more videos weekly, like two, at least two videos a week. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting ready to start editing this video, which editing takes time. So I might be editing this for about two hours, at least two, three hours. So that's another part of my daily, you know, day in a life entrepreneurship. It involves editing. You gotta edit, poop. 